Okay, today I'm in Bryan, Ohio, and I have a patio slab here. Going to do our granite flex application, which is basically a sixteenth of an inch chip embedded into like a, a rubber membrane, make it look like granite. And this is what the before picture looks like. A little bit of cracking around the edges of the patio, so I use my crack chaser blade on my four inch grinder, open them up a little bit. Now I'm going to get ready to do some acid etching, pressure washing. Now I got done acid washing, acid etching, um, pressure wash, and now I'm just going to let these cracks dry up a bit. I'm going to use it. A uh, propane torch to dry them up a little bit better in a little bit here, but then I'll get ready to put our flexible joint fill in. And when I want to dry cracks up real quick, I use a propane torch like this. You can see we still got some damp areas in the in the. <laughs> joints and cracks then I want to have some flexibility in the in the joint got our protector joint fill it's actually called protector flex joint fill comes in a two gallon kit part A and part B the resin and hardener basically just mix together equal amounts and that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna stick it in a little it's actually just a cheap little Walmart ketchup bottle I cut the top off a little bit so it squeezes in the cracks and joints better. I'm going to overfill it a little bit. And then tomorrow I'll, I'll shave off the excess and then grind and grind a little bit. After you do all that, you're going to have uh, your cracks and your joints going to look overfilled. You're going to want to overfill it just for the fact that a little bit may sink down in. And if you see some sinking down, some of the joint fill sinking, just reapply it right over the spot that you can tell that it's sinking down in the crack. So tomorrow we'll hit it with uh, our razor scraper tool and then we'll grind it. And then we'll go from there. Here's the granite flex. You can get it in gallon containers or bigger. Um, comes with an activator. Just mix one activator with one gallon. And you're, once you mix that up, you can add 5 to 10 ounces of xylene if you want, just to make it easier to work with. I just got done chipping this second coat of granite flex. So I gotta give that an hour and a half, two hours to dry, and then I'll be putting sealer down on it. <laughs> 